previously on Amiibo Survivor. After Bulbasaur Jr.'s elimination, the Plushy Tribe, well, nothing major happened with the Plushy Tribe, and the Amiibo Tribe was just relaxing on <laughs> the day after. However, things didn't pan out for them too well for at the up and coming reward challenge because the Kinex Tribe and the Plushy Tribe both pulled off a comeback and beat the Amiibo Tribe for the first time. Therefore, they won the rewards. And in the end, the Kinex Tribe ended up sending Diddy Kong to Ghost Island, which turned out to be a mistake because at Ghost Island, Diddy Kong was able to decipher the clues and was able to obtain the first old advantage, which was the Voteless Coin from Season 1. At the, at the Immunity Challenge, Though the tribes fared even, the Amiibo tribe ultimately lost when Wedding Mario wasn't able to uh, put the cart together fast enough. And therefore, the Kinex and Plushy tribes won immunity in sending the Amiibo tribe to Tribal Council for the first time. At the Amiibo tribe, Smash Luigi was totally ready to get out Smash Mario. Huh? He, he just wanted to make sure everyone was still on board with his plan. However, Smash Mario wanted to make sure that everybody would, would side up with him to get rid of Smash Luigi. They definitely considered the offer. However, when it came to Tribal Council, everybody stuck on Smash Luigi's side, and therefore Smash Mario was unanimously voted out by the entire tribe. With Smash Mario's elimination, the contestant count drops to 14. Who will be voted out next? What a tribal council that was. Yeah, <laughs> we got out Smash Mario. <sighs> Thank you everybody for helping me get out my stupid brother. Hmm, I didn't know that in Survivor there was a majority votes. So, I guess this means that, I guess, that, you whatever, but, I did not expect Tribal Council to go that way. I expected something different. I'm not sure what to expect from the rest of the game now. Since this is me, King Dedede, and Smash Mario's for and Wedding Mario's first time playing, we don't know about this game, so we're total noobs at it. So there's been something we've been meaning to ask you, Smash Luigi. What is it, DDD? Why did you want to get out Smash Mario? He was annoying. Why? He kept saying Smash in every sentence. And the more he stayed in the game, the more the more and the more he annoyed me. Hmm, I definitely see your point. I don't know what's his deal. Why does he keep saying Smash in every sentence? Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> it's because he was on Team Smash in the first season 
Do we even need to mention the first season? Yeah, do we even have to, Diddy? Because... Because of reasons. Okay. So I guess everybody was talking about why Smash Mario kept saying Smash in every sentence. And I think it might have something to do with the first season. I didn't even know what was up with the first season. And I don't even know wh what the first season was. Or what it was like. But I guess it might have been... <laughs> low budget or something. Because... Because DS is always low budget. Getting out Smash Mario made me feel really good. It made me feel good about myself. Now I don't have to worry about him when Smash Ultimate comes out in a month. How does time even work around here? Welcome tribes to your first out of two tribe gatherings. As you can see, before we can continue onward, Plushy Tribe and Kinex Tribes take a good look at the new Amiibo Tribe. Smash Mario, as you can tell, was voted out last night. We'll be voted out next. Anyways, this is your first tribe gathering. As you know, today is day 13, meaning we are closer to the end of the game than you think. We only have approximately 29 days left, I believe, before the end of the game. So, yeah. Anyways, our first tribe gathering here will be a tribe swap. You guys will be switching into two tribes. So, this means that you guys can dispose of your old Amiibo, Plushie, and Kinex carpets. And they'll be replaced with some new Tribe Swap carpets. So yeah. Anyways, in order to determine this, if you guys remember, at the beginning of the game, before it began, the original 18 contestants since privately voted for who would be the best leader amongst themselves without knowing anything about one another. So, we so for this we are going to be determining two tribe leaders for this. With, while we're moving the while we're moving the three contestants that were originally tribe leaders. So I guess I'm not leader anymore. Neither am I. Or me. Correct. Anyways, time to begin. On this ballot here, I have all the votes, and they're all tallied up correctly, based entirely off appearance as of the first, as of the pilot episode, and removed the, the votes for King Dee, Bowser, and Susie. So who are the new top two most picked? Our top two most picked players for who'd be the best leaders are our mysterious swordsman, Meta Knight. Me? While P.S. puts himself together, let's see how our 18 contestants' party is shaping up. Sweet, I'm a tribe leader. Take that, Susie. Brr. So that's the end of that. And will the two of you please come up here with me? Hmm. Better dispose of this. Have to get into the mix. This should probably dispose our carpet too. I'm disposing the carpet. I'm tribe leader. <sighs> Alrighty, let's go ahead and start with introductions. Tell us a little bit about yourselves. Okay, for those who don't know me, uh, my name is Meta Knight, and I already stated I am a mysterious swordsman. 
I dedicated myself to swords play ever since 1993. Yeah, I think that's when Kirby's Adventure came out. But uh, yeah, I am a physically strong guy and I'm just excited to get some, to know some new people. Okay, now tell us a little bit about yourself then. Okay, hello everyone, though, for those who don't know me, my name is Francisca. I am a Jam Bastion mage. I recently I appeared in the most recent Kirby game, Kirby Star Allies, which I'm still waiting for the third update. I'm pretty sure everybody else is too. But yeah, I'm just honored that you picked me for leader, even though I was never leader when the game began, and I'll try my best in this one, because I'm going against Susie. Okay, so now here's how this whole tribe selection thing will work. So you guys will be doing a schoolyard pick'em to pick your teammates. And then they, accordingly, will pick their following teammate one at a time. But here's the catch. You cannot pick a teammate that you were teammates with, or tribe mates with, in the previous phase of the game when there were three tribes. So Meta Knight, you can't pick any amiibos, and Susie, you can't pick any plushies. Anyways, to get things started, your tribes have been divided by color. Meta Knight, by your feet, is a cream carpet. You're the cream tribe. Your tribe name is Phylox. Understood. And Susie, you're red. Your tribe name is Rijax. Wait a minute, hold on. These are all Epic Mario Bros. names. Quiet. He's dead anyway, I think. And I'll count on it. But anyways, Meta Knight, since you received most more votes than Francisca, you get to pick first. Hmm, kind of a tough call. My first choice will have to be uh, the Holtman girl that was leader originally, Susie. Who? I'm not on a tribe with Francisca. Thank pizza. Take that. I'm on the best tribe ever. Alright, Susie, now you get to pick. Hmm, I guess I'll have to go with, uh, the monkey. Woohoo! Yay! Alright, now, Susie, your turn to pick. Remember, you can't pick any plushies. Hmm, I'll go with the. Small Bowser over there. We have to get him on our team. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, Diddy, your turn to pick. Hmm. My choice would have to be the 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 dead turtle. My name is Flying Drive Bones, FYI. Your name was Parabones. Quiet, it's one DS once. Alrighty, Bowser, your turn to pick. Which one? Hmm. I'll have to go with the fungus among us. Nice pun. I'm not bread mold, okay? Well, you look like some. Flying Dry Bones, your turn to pick. Hmm. I guess I'll have to go with, uh, the big guy with the big hammer. That's King DDD. <laughs> I am a superstar warrior. Your turn to pick, Yellow Toad. Not many left. Hmm. I'll go with the guy in the fancy outfit. That's Wedding Mario. Woohoo! Hello, Meta Knight. Didn't expect you again. King DDD, your turn to pick. Hmm, I guess I'll go with the Hedgehog. Haha, <laughs> gotta go fast. I'm taking up a lot of room and my. Your turn to pick Wedding Mario. Hmm, I'll go with, uh. The big ape in the little suit. Donkey Kong. Oh, not again. Okay, Sonic, for you, you only have two options. 
Hmm. I guess I'll go with the little green dinosaur. Wow, so... I'm trying to make it warm here. Thank you very much. Okay, Donkey Kong. A lot riding on you. You only have two choices left. Hmm. I guess I'll go with, uh... The green guy with the L on his forehead. I think his, I think his name is Shrek. It's Smash Luigi, fool! Ugh, why don't people get my name right? Well, Yoshi, you don't really have a choice. Your last pick is Cutman. <laughs> I'm back. Just let me make room. <laughs> this red blends with my head. These are your tribes. Your new living mates. With some old ones thrown in as well. For some reason. These are the new people you're going to be living with and eventually have to eliminate now. Remember, as always, you must win challenges to guarantee yourself safety in the game. If you lose a challenge, you got a good chance you're going home. Anyways, we have combined your camps, your new camps in some way, and yeah, there are maps that will lead you to your brand new camps and everything. With that said, good luck to both tribes. Let the, let the games continue.